one person said, how come you're always acting a fool and don't have any serious messages? So maybe here's something y'all should know about me. Where do I come from? I got the template in a body for me Working in perfect harmony and unison. The snake is a soul that grabs the DNA, checks out the mold, makes its own mold. To bring new found things to the earth so that people. It's normal to be hated, and that makes us laugh. <laughs> it is normal to be feared and reviled. Also good for life. We are hated in fear. We have no fear or hatred in our hearts. Oh no! But we're ever so amused by people running around playing their parts with their notions of what they think is love and good and evil. I'll share this with you now Cause I'm feeling pretty bold Here's a drawing that I made When I was nine years old Here's that illustration I dated it, time started November 3rd, 1987 Time finished November 3rd, 1987 Tony Ezzy is the boy who is really the demon Interesting choice of Depicting myself, but uh, that was a self-portrait at the time. And here is my true form. This is really Tony Ezzy's true self. This swinged lizard man who 
shot fireballs out his hands. But I knew the gist of it. I said I could fly and has the ability to change from boy to beast. A lizard man with a tail, of course. This was my worst foe, the no-winged angel. Clearly depicting that he's evil. Spelled beast long. I know your weakness, so don't think I'm scared. <laughs> my true self at the age of nine years old. My true self at the age of nine. This is the boy who is really the demon. Make of that what you will, but I seemed to know what was going on even back then. Here's another being whom I called Spyan 4. Interesting, has a crystal for a brain. Seems to be well illuminated. Feathers coming from his head, indiscernible face. Once again, I did this when I was nine years old. Nine years old. On instinct and impulse. Cyan four came into my brain. Y'all don't hear me though. I was also once told by this woman who I, I believe I was on the moon and I think she was wearing a bluish gray jumpsuit and she said that before any being interacted with humans on earth they had to first project their likeness into the Akashic fields and uh, there the artists of, of earth would be inspired to draw these beings or make depictions of them or sculptures and then it would enter the psyche of mankind so that uh, these beings could appear for various people without with having some point of reference so that it wouldn't be a total shock when they were seen. Apparently that used to be one of the rules of engagement with humanity. Things do appear to be changing. The veil is lifting. Hmm. Mm. I'm sorry, Mindy. I guess I'll just go away.
Continued.